Hello and welcome to Butler HQ. And yes, you are still tuning into Butler HQ. And now you're going to be thinking, what's he done? But I've had to do it because I'm a part of the NHS family and in current events, it's just had to go. But getting back to our E34s, today we're going to focus on removing the inlet manifold. Because as you've probably seen in the previous video, it's a bit broken. So, first of all, we're going to disconnect the wiring on, on this, like so. I just push in with the clip to the side. And I will come out like that. Like so. That's done and disconnected. We'll then disconnect the coal packs because we don't want to put any pressure on the, the wiring. So, we'll do that next. that's done we will then loosen off the 10 mil bolts let's uh, that one loose put a socket pack And then it's time to pull these at a certain angle and these will just pop like uh, so. Now normally they are quite tough so don't be afraid to give them a good yank. These have, have been off before so uh, I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite loose. And the same again, quite a little yank. Now this, this one you'll find is going to be tight. Oh, not that tight. And that one's done. One's off as well. Also, remove that one, it just turns anti-clockwise and just pulls out. And also, we need to remove the boot. Just to... Uh, that's that. And while it's off, it's a good to a check for cracks. And next, unplug your fuel regulator, like so, just a clip, press in, and then we're going to just pull it out, like so, See. like so. Next we are going to unplug the throttle position sensor, which is just that, again, it's just a, a pushing come off and then we're going to disconnect the accelerator uh, cable now again you squeeze in the plastic clip like so which relieves that and you can see that and if you look there there's a little gap and if you you can will sort of go through there just a bit stiff yeah, it's just a bit stiff with age like 
like so and it then just come comes out keep it safe so and then you get to here you just unscrew it that on this old grommet and you just uh, squeeze it in normally they do come out intact but as this one has been standing and it is a bit uh, might break like the one did we'll see Normally they they do come out, but as I, this is the one the original one, so yeah, just the age. So now we are now at the stage where we're going to release the inlet valve, so and hopefully it, it's going to uh, going to uh, come off. I'll say hopefully. And I will, uh, will add, these have all been soaked in penetrating oil. So, we have uh, So, uh, as you can see, we have learned that on the last one here to loose off, the fuel rail is in the way. So, we shall remove that now. Yeah, it should do. Well, and like I said much in this video, because I've got a bit of a sore tough in here. But if anybody just know any ret reputable hydro dipping country, um, Company hydro dipping paper. Hydro dipping, yeah. Is that why they put the stuff on the plastics? Yeah. There? If anybody knows a reputable hydro dipping company that's reasonably priced, leave the details in the comment section below. And just to add, before unloosing the fuel rail, take fuse. Is it I forgot now. I think it's fuse 18. Start the car and it runs out of fuel. There will be no pressure in the system then. But we might have a problem. But we will have a problem because obviously we can't start the car now because there's no bad PCV valve on it. So when we do release this, there's going to be a bit of petrol everywhere, keeps under pressure. And that's why we're going to get a rag out. We're now going to disconnect the feed, which will also relieve the pressure. So, and we're going to do it from the easiest point because there's a chow that says, you know, let's make life easier. So, yeah. Feel it seeping now. Seeping. Up. Seeping. I feel it seeping like. Uh, It is a circle. Go uh, that's it. Not so much. No. No drama. So with the feed disconnected, we're now gonna remove the retaining clips on the injectors. And then she 
she should then just lift up. No, we have started talking. I'm going to talk much of I've got a tough ache. A tough ache. But between filming, we now have to put some injectors. Didn't have that ring on. So, so somebody's been here before. We now. Uh, All the these pesky things removed, yeah, injector retainer. It should now lift up quite easily. It's quite a bit right. And Which of that's all the one that was stopping us getting the old thing off. So with the fuel roll removed, yeah, it's uh, time to uh, remove the last, well, loosen that last belt there, which is uh, inaccessible. So we're now, it's now fully um, unbelted and we shall see, or as the case may be, we might not see but we'll have a look. Oh, it is. It is. Now, your mod be easy because if you have got a strut brace on. That's it, yeah. That's Aldi on by literally two, two screws. Two, two uh, bolts. Yeah. Plastic bolts. Just if you have watched us, if you have been keeping track with the Boudicca Bill, you also can know from the last um, episode how that comes up. Yeah. No. And with the magic of the internet, the strut price has, has, has vanished. Yeah, and it should now come out. Don't bring it to square as you can. Oh, my God.